What's a hacker? Back in 1960s, the hacker, the term used to use to describe someone who has a strong skills in computer science or someone who has deep understanding how a computer, computer program works. And later, the definition of the hacker changed. Then it used to describe, for, describe illegal activities. For example, breaking into a computer network or breaking into computer programs. Actually, the bad type of hackers called black hats are far less in numbers compared to the, um, the good hackers called the white hats. Now, the white hats are computer visionaries who have a passion for computer programs and computer systems. What they do is they use that passion to test and you know, programs that are created by others to its limits and improve on it. A, a famous white hat hacker is Steve Jobs himself. Now, if you were a Windows user, you'd be used to the idea of um, those updates coming up on your screen. That's the work of hackers, both good and bad. Um, so, my, when, when a flaw is found in the system, Windows updates that and sends you a patch it, uh, to, 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 to fix it. That's what those updates are for. Anarchists are people who like to break stuff and they like to target any opportunity they can have. Crackers are hobbyists and professionals who break passwords and create Trojan horses or other type of programs called wares. They, they do this for sometimes for bragging rights and other times for, uh, for money. Scoop kiddies are hacker wannabes and they don't have no specific skills or they don't have any hacking skills. However, what they do is they download some of the softwares and just use the softwares to break and other uh, vulnerable systems. There are other type of hackers too, who, such as um, uh, political operatives, disgruntled employees, um, um, uh, terrorists or anyone else who feels they're exploited or ripped off and even unloved. Inside jobs. Most security breaches originate from inside the network that's under attack. Inside, inside jobs means people inside the network or who has access, they steal passwords and then they use the password for, to, to access other things or they sell a set of information they are stealing from the, from, the, from, the, from, the, from the network or from their own network they have access. And they use this information to, 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 to perform illegal activities. Rogue access points are unsecured wireless access points that outsiders can breach. They're set up by you know, well-meaning but ignorant employees. Backdoor. Backdoor means hackers take advantage of uh, the configuration errors or any weakness left in the network and they, 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 they analyze it the network and they find out the, the most weakest part of the network and they access from those uh, the, 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 the unsecure ports. Viruses and worms are computer programs that attach themselves or little codes that attach themselves to other software or machines and um, what they do is flood the network but um, with a lot of bogus traffic to shut it down. Torajan horses, you might, you must have heard about Torajan a lot. The Torajan horse attached other programs, for example, if you download any other software from internet which is cracked and it must have some virus attached to it. What Torajan horses does is it stays in your computer, allows the hacker to control your system or send some, some of the information, for example, grabbing your password, sending to the, to the hacker and then hacker can access your system. One of the way hackers try to bring down your network or system without having physical access or even remote access to your system um, is by using a denial of service attack which means they send um, a lot of requests to your network which makes it really busy and brings your network down. Um, they also use a distributed um, a denial of service attack which becomes really difficult to block because it comes from a lot of different sources and they do the same thing, you know, send you too much traffic that uh, that look legitimate and the, your system cannot handle, hence 
it shuts down. Sniffing and spoofing is another attack that most of the time that the hackers does. A sniffing means the hackers intercept your TCP packet. When you send a packet from your computer to your to the destination, they intercept the packet and they access it. And they, they, for example, if you send the email from your computer to, to someone your, to your friends, they can act, they can have access to your email by by intercepting. And spoofing means they send illegal, uh, which is in a way the message came to you is is not the message you want to receive. They fake their identities. The most common uh, attacks or the hacking happening around is cross site script. They can they can they can access the vulnerable system which does not have a strong or a strict uh, comparison coding in the, in, the, in the system. As well as they can do SQL injection. If, 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 if it's a database system, they can, they can insert uh, the SQL injection which will, which will break into the system. Without accessing your network, hackers can bring your system down. Like we talked about the denial of service attack which sends a lot of traffic to your network causing it to crash. Um, you can, they can also do this with, to attack your mail server called a mail bomb, so sending you a lot of sending your mail server a lot of email from different sources that causes it to crash. How to be secure and how or how to secure a system? There is not a single answer for this, and there is not a standard formula to be a secure. And nobody is secure in the, if they are connected to the internet. However, you can be almost be a perfect secure person by having using the latest version of the, your the, whatever application you're using making sure you, you choose a strong password using letters characters numbers as well as changing uh, on, a, on a, in a period of time and not making note of it for example you change your password and make a note of it on your mobile phone doesn't work and uh, and the other thing is you can get any software can provide your protection for example antivirus can protect you from virus or any defender software which can hide your system information then hackers don't have access to your system information what version you're using or what sort of system uh, you're using or what kind of technology framework you use to develop your system if they have if the hacker have information of for example your system version your your your, your system framework and then they have intensive access, intensive knowledge in the particular in a particular area. Then they can exploit the, the, the area and can there is a possibility to, to break into your system. The best form of security you can get is by detaching your system from the internet. That's not always possible. Though. So on your network and on your machine, try to block all the ports that you don't need. Um, the that will actually protect you from many different types of attacks happening so you're only protecting the doors that you need um, on a firewall less work for your firewall too um, also don't download uh, third-party plugins um, that are that are not that don't have good reviews so always whether it's on your website or you know your browser or your system um, third-party plugins um, can, can be useful but they can come with trojans and, and viruses so um, read the reviews if you can test to make sure that they're not vulnerable that there are no vulnerabilities in the code if you're a programmer before you download them